Hey, this is going to be an animated book review of the book Managing Oneself by Peter Drucker, which this is actually in the Harvard Business Review. Before you start watching this video, I want you to leave a comment below of the largest contribution that you plan to make before you die. Peter Drucker says that we should find where we can make the greatest social contributions to society. And he says one of the best ways to do this is through feedback analysis. And basically what this is, is... Anytime you make a major decision, write out what you think the predicted consequences will be. Between nine months or maybe a year later, compare the results. And he says that after he has done this a few times, he realized that he's not as always as good at what he thinks he's at. And he goes into, after you find a strength, you need to improve them. He says that there are three steps. The first is to put yourself in an environment where your strengths will produce success. That is, Put yourself in environments where you will thrive. The second is to only improve your strengths, or only focus on improving them. He says that it takes far more energy to go from incompetence to mediocrity than it does to go from slightly above average to impeccably great. The third is to find out when intellectual arrogance is stopping you from furthering your career. Stuff like, uh, he mentions engineers are really good at what they do, but they don't have very good people skills. And they usually boast about it, too. They're like, oh, I'm not very good at people skills. And HR employees are the same way about accounting. They're not very good at accounting. And he says that you need to find out what you are bad at, what you are intellectually ignorant in, and you need to find out how to improve that. A little nugget of knowledge that he leaves in here is that, remember, ideas don't move mountains. Bulldozers move mountains with the help of ideas. Which is basically saying that you can plan all you want, and I've been doing this a lot in my life. I've been planning my future, but unless you actually take action, unless you actually execute on that plan, it's not going to get you anywhere. So, he also says that you should find out how you learn. You should learn how to learn. Are you a reader, or are you a writer? Are you a thinker, or are you a doer? Are you a loner, or do you do better when you are with a group of people? He mentions something about the public school system, and he says, To be forced to learn the way a school teaches is sheer hell for students who learn differently. And there are many students who learn differently than the way that the school teaches. So there are tons of ways you can find out if you are good at learning a specific way. But probably the best way that you can find out how well you learn at something is by looking at your past. Are you good at doing something? Or are you good at thinking about something? Are you good at reading? Or are you good at writing about it? You have to find out what works best for you. He also says that towards the end of your career, not even towards the end, just after the end of 20 years, you're going to start getting bored. He says a lot of people need a challenge. They get good at their job, and it's not a challenge anymore. He says, so to manage your life effectively, a lot of people start doing consulting. They start earning a little bit more money by consulting other people. Or even do it non-profit. There are tons of people who go into non-profit organizations or charity organizations. Basically, you need to find out a second hobby to take up more of your time. That way, you're not wasting your time, and you're becoming a greater contribution to society. And that goes back to our main idea, is to become the greatest contribution to society, to your environment, that you possibly can. And in this little print, it's basically a little tiny book, there's tons of knowledge, tons of advice, that most people would take as common sense, but I really like to have it handy, and like to look at uh, some quotes that I underlined. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I hope you learned something. Subscribe if you want more great videos like this. Thanks for watching.